Good evening and many thanks for being here. Another flying item was shot down by American airplanes today, and both political parties have criticized the lack of information about these instances. The most recent shootdown took place over Lake Huron after those in the Yukon Territory of Canada, off the coasts of Alaska and the Carolinas. Alyssa Slotkin, a congresswoman from Michigan, said in a tweet that the item was shot down by pilots from the U.S. Air Force and National Guard. Tonight's show begins in the White House, where authorities are responding to the incident. Eight days and four takedowns it is the most recent answer to those mysterious high-altitude objects hovering over North America. Other authorities claim that the devices were smaller and didn't nearly. Like the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down earlier this month, and officials on both sides are requesting more information. Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, reiterated his decision to shoot down an unidentified object over the Yukon on Saturday. I issued the order to shoot it down because it posed a legitimate danger to civilian aircraft, he said. The United States and Canadian forces are now reconstructing a number of items that American fighter planes shot down. On Friday, the United States shot down an aircraft the size of a tiny car over Alaska. It crashed into sea ice, and personnel are still trying to determine who owned it and what it was. The president's main worry was a problem with flying safety. At that height, while they continue to call for information on who is behind the most recent items, senators who were critical of President Biden's timing and shooting down a Chinese surveillance balloon, earlier this month say they are happy with the reaction. Instead of being tolerant, I would much rather have people be trigger happy. The last two weeks or so in 10 days have been nothing short of crazy, and the military has to have a strategy to not only figure out what's out there but also figure out the hazards that come along with it. Senior administration officials here at the White House say they have no indication that the most recent unmanned object had surveillance capabilities, but they are not ruling that out. They also say that the object didn't pose any military threats. On Saturday, officials on alert temper shut down the airspace over Montana after concerns about a radar anomaly near the Canadian border. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.